So a lot of people have been asking how my Alienware X51 R3 computer runs Minecraft. So today I wanted to do a few tests for you, show you frame rates, and also even show you Minecraft with shaders like Sonic Ethers shaders and things like that. So I hope you enjoy, I hope it's informative, and we'll get to it. Okay, first I want to say I'm recording this with my camera, not with the screen capture. So the reason for that is, so I'm getting the maximum usage out of my computer. Nothing is running in the background, slowing it down. So hopefully this will give you guys the best results. Now this is a Alienware X51 R3. It is the, just the basic model. When you go on the Alienware website, uh, you will see, you know, a starting price and you could add on from there. And so this computer is that starting price. There's nothing fancy on it and nothing like that. I mean, overall, it's really good. The only thing I would recommend is maybe updating the graphics processor. And later on when I do a shaders test for you, uh, sometimes it glitches up the wire, sometimes it doesn't. But hopefully you guys will get to see. So I'm running Minecraft normally right now, no shaders or anything like that. And I personally like to limit my frames per second at 60. That's just where I like it. So this, it'll get 60 all day um, on normal. No problem there at all. Just to show you, I have everything up on max. I have graphics on fancy, smooth lighting maximum. Everything's on. Uh, render distance is all the way at 32. Even some of these features that I don't know, they're all on. So even with all of them on, you can see over here in the corner, I get a pretty solid 60. Every now and then it might drop a little bit, but... It's really good 60, even when you're building and everything. I know sometimes that slows some computers down. Um, I also wanted to note, and you can look at other videos for this, to make Minecraft run well, uh, search allocate memory. And over here, all I allocated was two gigabytes, and this works fine for me. Um, Minecraft standard comes with one gigabyte, and that's usually not enough. And if you're a really fancy person, uh, you could turn on the 3D feature on here. I guess that's for glasses or something, I'm not sure, but on 3D, yes, it drops your frame rate down. So right now it's kind of jumping between 30 and 50, but it still handles it very well. You can still do everything smooth, so that's really good if, if that's something that you do. Okay, so I know all you guys want to see the, the shader mods. I have on here probably the most popular one, the Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders. And you see it looks very nice. It runs well. I see usually it runs between... 20 frames a second and 30 and right now it's at 15 but I mean it's loading things are going on but anyway um yeah I've had this computer a while so I mean I have a few background programs and things like that and so usually this computer runs anywhere between 15 to 30 frames per second with the shaders on and I just have the standard shaders on right now and also with the shaders the 3d option you're getting about 12 frames per second 10 to 12 pretty solid on here so what I was mentioning earlier this is the basic Alienware x51 computer and so I didn't upgrade anything and as you can see right here sometimes this happens sometimes it doesn't over here all that water is fine over here the water is all glitching up now I've looked online this is the GPU and um, there's patches for it to fix and stuff like that but I would just rather have nice hardware in the first place so that's the one thing I recommend upgrading on this computer. So what you've been looking at this whole time, I have a little mountain covered in TNT over here. I have a block of TNT over here stacked too wide and I have a big mountain over there covered in TNT. So before I blow this up, I've done this before. The mountains work pretty good, but this chunk right here, that kind of slows down the computer. It doesn't like that, but I'll do it without the shaders, how it is right now. And I will also do it with the shaders just so you can get a feel for um, how smoothly it runs. All right, here we go. So you see very smooth. It it dropped down to six frames a second for just a, a second or two right there, but overall very smooth. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next one. <laughs> so you see on that one, it really does not like the two layers of all the TNT right next to each other, but overall, pretty smooth. It, it doesn't freeze up for like several minutes or anything like that, so on to the last one.
Okay, so I got the shaders back on and I'm going to do the same test and you guys can see how well it does. Overall, it does very good. Um, the frame rates do drop a little bit, but I mean, it goes by quickly. Everything renders back in and it recovers well. So there's that one. Here's the other one. And another thing worth mentioning is, you know, if you're really close to the explosion, your frame rates are going to go really low. And if you're further away, usually your frame rates stay pretty high, so... So here we go with the other one. So you see, even for that much TNT, it it blows up and renders in pretty quickly. So anyway, let's go back to this mountain over here. And here we go. So you see that's pretty low frame rates right there and it's also worth noting you know no matter how good your computer is you're going to see those little blank spaces in there before all the blocks fill in but yeah overall it's very smooth and I mean I'm just trying to give you guys an idea of how much it can handle and just the frame rates that you're going to be looking at when you get this computer I mean overall it's very playable it's very enjoyable at these high frame rates and even even with shaders it can handle shaders no problem and texture packs and all that stuff. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you guys learned something. I hope this video helps you, you know, decide what computer you want to get or what parts you want to get for your computer, things like that. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and thank you guys for watching. And if you have any questions, be sure to ask them in the comments. I'll do my best to get back to you. And that's it. Bye.